how to write your trades for a long time and how to stay in trades with confidence. This is what we'll cover in today's video. So hello, welcome back. And I've prepared something that has come up recently with the many um, students that I mentor and with other traders that I interact with. And I find that one of the most difficult things for traders seems to be sticking with winning trades. I often see it that traders, when they are in a winning position, they don't really know what to do. <clears throat> they don't want to give back their profits. And then they do unrational things like moving a stop loss to break even or closing out a trade too early. Both are usually not really recommended and both usually over the long period or the long term will lead to bad performance. And there is a better approach, especially if you are just starting out and especially if you are still struggling with letting your winning trades run. So there's a way to create a, a so-called tunnel on your trading charts. And what I do is that I apply two moving averages. One is a 50 moving average applied to the high and one is applied to the low. You can do that very easily in all trading platforms. You add the moving average and then under the inputs, the source is once it's the high and for one it's the low. And then you will have a tunnel that will never cross um, itself and it will never, yeah, there will never be a cross and the tunnel will go th smoothly through your charts. And this will help you create an objective trading management approach. So once you have found a trading opportunity, um, whatever this might be, maybe you're trading divergences, maybe you are a classic breakout trader that trades patterns, whatever it may be. Um, once you're in the trade and once you are riding the trend, you just use this tunnel to stay in trades. As long as the price is trading outside of the moving averages, um, you are basically staying in the trade. And once the price is closing in the, tr in the tunnels and if the price hasn't reached your take profit yet, then you could close out the trade. You could also use the tunnel to trail your stop loss along the tunnel as well. So if you are in the trade and you want to trail your stop loss along the tunnel, that's also much, much better approach than just trailing it behind the price action, which uh, many traders do, but they trail it very uh, too close and then they suffocate their trades um, and then break even stops never work out. And you can see that sometimes you will catch huge winning trades because when you catch a trending phase, the tunnel will help you to stay in the trades for a very, very long time. So once you have identified maybe a pattern breakout, uh, something that I trade with one of my strategies, you are in the trade and then you can see sometimes you will be able to write this for hundreds and hundreds of pips. Obviously not always will this work, but nothing in trading works 100% of the time. The goal is here to create an objective trade management approach for your trading. Here recently, a very nice example from the Canadian Swiss. You can use it across all the different um, timeframes and all different markets. And you can also obviously play around with the moving average settings. If you want to have a management approach where you stay in trades longer and you don't want to be victim of short-term volatility. Maybe you can even set this to 60 or 70 or you want to be um, a quicker trader. You want to react to sudden moves in price quicker. You can change this to 30 or 20. Play around with it and see what makes sense to you. So here the market um, was in a downtrend, a very nice inverse head and shoulder pattern. Here that then rolled over, you have the breakout and then you can see the market stayed above the moving averages for a long, long time. Just recently did the market actually pull below the moving average. So here could have been then the, the theoretical trade exit once the market completely closed on the other side of the moving average. So really, really important um, and really powerful tool. One caveat. Don't just use the moving average on its own. Really build it on top of an existing trading strategy, whatever you might be trading. Maybe you trade breakouts, maybe you trade reversals, whatever you trade. But um, if you want to improve your trade management approach and have a more objective trade management approach, this could be the way out. Here also a very interesting market that um, I've been tracking. So the market was here in a sideways phase. And then once the market broke out of its channel, then you can use the moving averages again. If or when the market is in such a sideways range, a moving average will not work because a moving average is a trend following and a trend tool in general. So it will only work during trending markets. 
if and when the market is in a sideways range, then a moving average will not work. But once you have the, the real breakout, and once the market is back to a trending market, then the moving average works really, really well. And that is when you would use it as your trade management approach. And then here, the market dipped below the moving average. And if you haven't been out by now, uh, then this would have been a good time to get out. Also, you could obviously um, add different moving uh, different tools on top of each other. So let's assume you took the breakout here and you want to determine a tight profit target. Um, you could use your Fibonacci tool. You set it from A to B. So if you think that here is the starting move, here is your B move. So you can see A to B, very nice C. And then you can see we have the 161, we have the 200 and the 261. So you could choose also to use two different take profit approaches. Maybe you use the, the Fibonacci extensions as one approach. And if the market doesn't reach your Fibonacci, then you have your tunnels to justify or to show you another way of exiting trades. And then the market did the opposite again. We have here a very nice pattern, something like a triangle or wedge pattern at the top. The market rolled over and traded below the moving average until the price was here. So if you haven't gotten your take profit target uh, by now, then this would have been also a good way to exit the trade because what signals a moving average cross is that obviously the market goes from historically prices that are below average, which means a downtrend, to now historically um, prices that are above a, a certain average. So now the market is moving at a higher price than what has been um, been observable in the past. So play around with this approach. This is a very simple, seemingly simple approach, but it's a very powerful one. Try to layer different tools on top of each other. Try to maybe um, combine it with different ways of taking profits. Use it with a breakout system. Use it in a trending market. Really important, don't use moving averages in a sideways market. They won't work, but in trending markets, they will work really, really well. And this could help you improve your trade management and just be more objective in your trade management, which will then help you be more confident in your approach if you're not always doubting your trades and if you have a valid approach on how to write trades.